This is going to be another politics video on the um, TV debates. I have just sent a tweet to Mr. Cameron. I've signed a petition. Please take part in the debates, Mr. Cameron. All three of them. Okay? We had three in the last election. We should have three in this one. Okay? It's ridiculous. It's pointless. It's selfish. And it's childish to um, just, just say you don't need to take part in one debate. Just because you're the Prime Minister. It's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. The broadcasters are standing firm on their decision, and I, for one, am, uh, I, I support that, you know? Right, all the other political leaders, Nick Clegg, Nigel Farage, Ed Miliband, Natalie Bennett, uh, who else is Yeah, there's seven parties, but, let's see, Natalie Bennett, uh, 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 Unfortunately, I don't know who the leader of, um, Clyde Cumbry is. I, I think the SNP are going to take part. I'm not entirely certain. Possibly. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't um, keep, been keeping up to date lately. What I have been keeping up to date with is the fact that David Cameron will not change his mind. It's stupid. I mean, everybody out there, let's tell Mr. Cameron, everyone, let's tell Mr. Cameron we want him to take part in these debates. Okay? Just because... You know, he thinks they took the life out of the campaign. I don't agree with that. I think they livened it up. I think they hyped it. Because the public, who wasn't bothered to uh, read, the, read the leaflets or signs or whatever, and they weren't bothered to hear what the other candidates had to say when they came to, came to your door, the debates were a way of letting us know who all the parties are and what their intention is and what their manifestos are. You know, that was great. And, I, and I'm so thankful that we're having another televised debate, three, actually. And, I, I, Mr. Cameron, I do think you're running scared. I didn't think it before, but now I do. It's quite clear, you know. Nick, all your political uh, rivals are saying you're running scared, and I, for one, can't blame them. You know, even Nick Clegg's taking part, and you know that the Liberal Democrats have uh, been um, hit hard in the coalition, but he's still taking part, okay? UKIP, um, their surge has pretty much died down and been replaced with uh, the Green surge, which I'm actually happy about. <laughs> but yeah, I believe that Nigel Farage should be invited, and he was, because well, doesn't he deserve that chance? Doesn't don't the Greens deserve that chance? Um, David Cameron, you said right, you said you wouldn't take part unless the Greens were invited. They were, so you should take part. So everyone out there. Please, let's tell Mr. Cameron. I've actually sent a letter to him as well. Well, email. I sent a letter, I sent an email to him, I tweeted him, and I signed a petition so that he can take part in the debate. Look, everyone who wants to see Mr. Cameron, even those that don't, okay, he's our Prime Minister. Don't you think it'd be more of, um, more thrilling if he was? Especially that debate between Cameron and, and Ed Miliband. I, I'd love to see that. I think we all would. So please, everyone. Let's tell Mr. Cameron we want him at those debates. You, Mr. Cameron, stop being a baby. You didn't get your own way. Stop stamping your feet around and, and moping and whining and just take part. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Just tell Mr. Cameron any way you can. Twitter, email, send him an actual letter, whatever you can do. Let's get him in these debates.